Do gorillas have a dark side? Despite their pop culture depictions as brutal savage creatures, gorillas are fairly docile creatures in reality. With very few natural predators, bar the odd leopard, they live life very relaxed 90% of the time. Their herbivorous nature also lends itself to peace as they never have to fight over kills with other meat eaters. They also get along swimmingly with other super intelligent wild primates like chimpanzees and bonobos, often sharing feeding grounds and nesting in proximity to each other. If anything, gorillas have sometimes found themselves suffering infanticide at the hands of meat-hungry chimps. There's one creature that has proven to be the bane of gorilla kind, and that animal is human beings. Poaching and spore hunting have wreaked havoc on populations. The eastern gorilla, famed for its majestic size and coat, has suffered the most and is now critically endangered. That said, despite all of the feel-good vibes and peaceful slumber, these are still wild animals with very wild tendencies. Gorilla politics, in particular, is fairly rough and sometimes brutal. The fight for troop dominance is one such case. For males, the position of silverback is one that comes with control of the best feeding grounds and the most females. The term silverback is in reference to the grayish silver hair that grows on the backs of males from the age of 12. Males younger than this are called blackbacks and will seldom challenge for the leadership role. Silverback gorillas will posture, threaten, and fight, sometimes to the death to challenge for or defend this throne. Armed with brute strength, mean gazes, opposable thumbs, and two-inch canine teeth, adult male gorillas are as fierce as any animal in Africa when the need arises. For an incumbent king, defending his position helps ensure the survival of his young. For the challenger, victory means the opportunity to father babies of his own, as well as feast and fiesta in the best territories. A silverback fight will typically resemble a typical human boxing match, at least in the beginning. The two fighters will engage in a mean stare down, sprinkled with a bit of trash growls and verbal warnings. If no one backs down, you may witness the gorilla's signature chest thumps and even a mock charge. If these warnings are not heeded, a real fight ensues. The two silverbacks will hurl themselves at each other with full force and start scrapping viciously. Hands, feet, teeth, it's all fair game. Eventually, one of the two fighters gets overwhelmed and submits to the victor. The loser is then chased away with his non-existent tail between his legs. Younger males will run in the hope of fighting another day but old males will retreat knowing they will likely live the rest of their lives alone in the cold. If a challenger wins, he will look to establish his dominance over the troop by killing the old king's infants and chasing away resident blackbacks. The baby killing is used to get females into estrus much sooner than they would like. Infanticide also wipes out the genes of males who couldn't defend their position in their troop. Outside of the males, the females can also be vicious, especially to each other. Females have their own hierarchy, especially if unrelated, and will jostle for proximity to the silverback by cutting in on grooming sessions and even brawling. Gorillas are also hostile to predators. A silverback will not hesitate to fight off and kill a leopard or a snake that threatens his family, even to the death. A silverback gorilla was even documented tracking and attacking poachers who were nabbing his troop members in the Congo. However, gorillas are seldom a danger to humans and most wild troops have had some exposure to humans in some fashion. To date, there are less than five documented gorilla attacks on people, and none of them led to human fatalities. Additionally, it is likely those attacks were provoked. However, these stats are often reported by countries with a vested interest in promoting guerrilla tourism, so you can't be 100% certain. Of course, given the power and tools at their disposal, guerrillas could easily kill a man they deem to be a threat. Luckily, a guerrilla will likely give you a chance to escape or beg for mercy. 
like with a rifle, a silverback will test your metal with a stare down, chest thump, and mock charge. Your best bet is to avoid direct eye contact, curl up into a ball on the ground, and hope. They will usually leave you alone if they don't view you as a threat. Unfortunately, like people, some gorillas can hold grudges. If you are unlucky to cross paths with gorillas that have had bad encounters with humans before, you may become an undocumented statistic in a country that depends on gorilla tourism, 